meeting interesting people is is the the highlight of my job as is just wonderful people lovely people and i know we say don't we people who make a difference and that could be anything and if you know big organizations that have changed that changed their whole production to help out during the pandemic making ppe that sort of thing or it could be individuals doing their own thing in their own way now yesterday after the show i got to speak to a wonderful 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 lady she's 82 uh, she's in a care home in hartlepool and she's been cheering up fellow residents with their wonderful, wonderful poetry. Um, I, I've got to say, before you hear the audio, that uh, Faye is an, a wonderful, wonderful lady. She's had three strokes, all right, So, and it's affected her speech. So that's why maybe you may not pick up a few bits, but I was so desperate to speak to her because what she's done in, this, in, in her local care home is just phenomenal and after what she's gone through as well so please please bear with us but this is my conversation with Faye yesterday she is absolutely fantastic I'm 82 I don't believe you you don't sound it I am you've had a tough old year haven't you through through the last 12 months oh uh, yeah you've had a stroke you've no had, I've you... had three strokes three strokes the you... first and the second ones weren't too bad after I'd come out the hospital I went into the care home and they got me to walk and I could talk. The second stroke was the same, but the third stroke was a bad one. I couldn't walk, couldn't talk. I've lost my voice and I can't see. Wow. You've had COVID as well, haven't you? I've had two doses of COVID, yeah. You don't do no by half, you fair, do you? It's, it's oh, one's, no. one's not enough, you know, for a hardy <laughs> pool, lass. Where, where do you get your strength from, fair? I don't know. I'm just a determined old bed. <laughs> you, you must be. What has been the thing that, that gets you through things? What is it that, can, that keeps you going? Well, I can't write because I'm paralysed down one side. So I've only got my left hand and I can't see to do anything. So one of the girls, she's like me ghostwriter, as you call it. Right. What has the last year been like living in a care home? Uh, well, it's what you make it. I keep the girls good. I give them a joke and never laugh. Brilliant. They're a bit naughty. Now wrong with that. Tell me about the staff in Westview Lodge. What Are they, are they good? The staff are marvellous. They're really marvellous. Well, they are to me. I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> we have a good laugh. You do? It sounds, you sound like one big family in there. Well, we are. I've got to make the best of it, because otherwise I'd just be sat in the room on my own. I'm a people person. I like company, and I like people. But I can't have company all the time, because they've got other residents they've got to see to. Mm. But they keep popping in. And I'd get dressed up. Oh, we're having a Hawaiian day. I've Hawaiian day? Yeah, I've got my outfit. I'll have to bring my ukulele up so we can, I can play a bit for you. Oh, yeah, please. Absol and I've got my coconut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a sense of you for, for what you've been through. Three strokes, you know, defeating COVID twice. Your positive <laughs> attitude is, is amazing. And... With, with with all the other residents around, do you, do you feel it? Do you take it upon yourself uh, to to try to cheer everyone up? Oh, well, I was a bit bored the other week. I had my hair dyed pink. Marvellous. Fair. Yeah. You are just a breath of fresh air, and I wish I just had an ounce of your love of life. I wish I just had a little bit of it. It, it, it is phenomenal. Now, you've written poetry in the past, haven't you? Um, yeah. Has poetry played a big part in your life, and writing poetry? In the 70s. I had two anthologies. One was called 20th Century Poets and one was called Jubilee. Wow. But then my husband said, it's a load of rubbish. Don't get read it. Give it up and I can't just didn't do it anymore. Oh, no. Yeah. That's, that's such a very, shame. Yeah. Uh, I was very controlling. So just for a minute piece, I didn't do it anymore. But I brought a smashing one. Called Hartley Pool Heroes. Can you give us a bit of it? Can you remember it? Yeah. Go on then, give us a bit. They sat on a bench in the Burn Valley Gardens in the warmth 
of the afternoon sun. Silver haired men with lines on their faces. But heroes, everyone. Remember the time we went to go fire watching on the roof of the old Bellevue Club. Our weapons were no more than shafts of a bush, but no jerrys were taken out of. What will we do? said old Uncle Frank, as he emptied his glass. I know what I'd do, said old Uncle Fred. I'd shoot me bush and cup his ass. <laughs> and then they go on to say, remember, you young lads, when you think these men are just a bunch of old codgers, they're not. They're the roots of our town. It's important. It is important. It's important that we have people like you who still remember those days so vividly and can can get those those memories down. And it's it's so important that we're here to listen to people like you, Fab. And you're oh, a treasure. Oh, uh, if I could, I'd come and give you a big cuddle. I really, really would, because oh. I, I, I love you to bits. Once COVID's over, we'll come and have a cup of tea with you. Is that all right? Oh, that's lovely, yeah. And I'll bring cakes. Do you like fond and fancies? No, I'm much of my teeth. I've oh. got my own teeth at the moment, so I'm but keeping them. You're I'm magnificent. Like a fruit cake. All right, I'll bring a bit of fruit cake. You are a superstar, and I can't wait to read your poems in person. Keep on being brilliant, and thanks for speaking to us, lovely. I'm sorry I've taken up so much time. It's No, it's my pleasure that you have given me so much of your time, and I really mean that. Oh... Thank you. I'm speechless. How wonderful is fair? And the thing that really got it for me, and I, and I hope that you picked it up, was how she wrote poetry um, in her younger days and her husband told, them, told her it was rubbish and to pack it up, and she did. And I just, I just felt her shattered dreams. I really felt it for her. But now she's reliving those days and she's regaling her poetry and telling jokes to the care staff um, and the residents in the care home in Hartlepool, and I love it a bit, and I can't wait, I can't wait for the day I can go up and have a cup of tea, but no fond and fancies. It's got to be, it's got to be fruitcake. Faye, my new hero.